In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to use Adobe Illustrator CS 5.1's drawing tools to trace any kind of drawing that you might find on the internet. So we're tracing objects using the pen tool. So the first thing we've got here is an image that I've downloaded from Google Images. You can use any image you would like. This is a cute little monster. And what I'm going to do is trace the outline of this monster using the pen tool in Illustrator and then color them in using uh, Illustrator's swatch tools over here on the right hand side. So we're going to try to basically recreate this image from scratch using Illustrator's drawing tools. So the first thing that we need to do is open up the layers panel. In my uh, workflow here the layers panel is already open. If it's not open in your workflow go to the window menu and just look for layers. It's in alphabetical order and just click on layers or press function F7 to open that and you will see the layers panel. What I'm going to do is actually lock the layer that has my background image in it. So that means that I can't draw on it, I can't move it, I can't accidentally make any mistakes to it. So that's perfect. I'm going to lock that and I'm going to create a new layer above it. And I'm just going to rename both of these. So double click on the first one and call it guide. Double click on the second one and call it outline. Okay, next we're going to pick the pen tool from our toolbar, which is usually the third one down on the left. You can press P to select it as well. And we just want to make sure that our color selections are the way we want them to be. At the moment, they're not because the fill color is white, the stroke color is deactivated. What we're trying to do here is draw a black outline around the shape of our image. Um, so in order to do that, we need a black stroke and no fill. So we've got to reverse these around. But what we can do is actually just double click on the stroke and choose a black color from the color picker and then click once on the fill color and then click on the deactivate button or the none button or you can just press forward slash to disregard the color on the fill uh, icon there. So now we've got just a stroke color. Again, I'm just going to make sure that it's black. It was black but for some reason it switched to white. Anyway, now it's black and we're all set to go. We're on the outline layer. We've got our pen tool selected. We've got a black ink. We're ready to go. So how do we actually trace around this? Now the pen tool is quite difficult to master. When you start using it, it's a little bit tricky. I'm just going to go through some of the basics of the pen tool before I start tracing the outline of this because it's going to be quite useful as you go along. The first thing about the pen tool is that it's a point-to-point -point operating system. In other words, if I click and let go, it's going to create a point. If I click, if I move my cursor to another point and then click and let go, the pen tool creates the line between the two points that I clicked. Okay, very important to understand the basic concepts of the pen tool. If I click again, it's going to create another point again another point another point and so on every time I click and when I go back to my first point again it's going to create a shape for me that I can then fill with various colors and so on so that's the end game we're trying to create uh, a shape that clicks on the first point again to complete itself okay so now I'm just going to delete that shape and click on the pen tool again and the second thing to know about the pen tool is that you can click between points like that but if you click and hold and then drag so that's two steps click hold and drag okay you're gonna create this possibility of creating a curved line okay now this is the bit that's tricky to master it's easy to click on points and just work your way around like the polygon lasso in Photoshop but when you start dealing with curves it becomes a little bit harder to master so we'll just see how this works um, it takes a bit of practice to be able to figure out how it actually works in practice 
But the way it actually works, if I click one point and then click and drag, these two handles appear. So the more I drag, the wider the handles become and the, the steeper the curve becomes. If the handles are closer together, then the curve is lessened. So the wider the, cur the, wider the handles, the steeper the curve. The narrower the handles, the less steep the curve. Okay, And also, the second thing is that you can change the direction of those handles. So if you point the one that you're dragging in the direction of where you want your next point to be, your curve is going to go in the right direction. If, however, you drag it around the other way, then your curve is going to start doing unpredictable things and behave erratically, depending on what you're trying to do. So you just need to spend a bit of time and practice working on these curves, figuring out what way they work. And the other thing is you can just click and if you want to stop doing a curve, you can uh, just click once and it's going to create the straight line again for you. Okay. So the main lesson from this is that you need to just spend a bit of time messing around with the pen tool until you get the hang of it. And it's not that hard once you once you get a bit of practice in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is once we've mastered the basics of the pen tool, there's another tip that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to switch now to full screen mode and just make sure you're you've got your pen tool selected, you've got your ink ready to go. So press the F key twice on your keyboard, like that. Okay. That puts us into full screen mode. It means we don't have any toolbars, we don't have any menus, we don't have any panels. All we can see is the image we're working with and our tool that we have selected, which is the pen tool in this case. Now, the next thing we need to do is zoom in quite close on one aspect of the image that we want to trace, okay? You can use this for selections or for tracing. It's a very useful technique. So let's just zoom in, hold down Command and Plus, and press a few times until we get quite in close on the image that we want to start with, right? So we're trying to trace around the outline here. So let's just click and let go on any point on the outline of the image. And then let's click and drag and start tracing around the edge of the image. So it's going to take you a couple of minutes maybe to trace around the outline of this. But you can see by zooming in, you immediately have a much better angle and a much better view of how close you need to be on the outline of the image you're trying to select or trace. And the other thing that I'm doing here, you might notice, is switching to the hand tool so that I can move the image around as I'm looking at it. And the way to do that is just keep your pen tool selected. And then every time you need to move the background a little bit, it's just, I've just made a slight mistake there. You can also undo any mistakes you do by pressing Command-Z. But now you'll notice I've reached the end of my image. So if I hold down the spacebar and hold it down for a second and click and drag, I can move my image. And as soon as I let go of the spacebar, my pen tool is reselected. So it's a very uh, quick and easy way to switch between the pen tool and the hand tool, two very useful tools that you're going to use over and over again when you're doing this technique. Okay? So just click, drag your points around the edge, keep switching between the pen tool and the spacebar, and eventually you're going to come back to close to where you started. I'm just going around these corners quite quickly. Obviously, you can spend a little bit more time than I'm spending on this. Um, I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes, just to show you how it's done. And we eventually come back to this starting point again. Click on that starting point so you can join your shape together. Press the F key again to go back into your ordinary illustrator mode. Zoom out, press Command and minus a few times. And press V just to go back to your <clears throat> selection tool, your pointer tool. Okay. Now we can just switch off the background layer or the guide layer just to see what we've got. And we've got a nice outline shape here, which is exactly what we're looking for. The only problem is, if you go back to your guide layer, the thickness of the line is meant to be quite thick in the original image, but in our version it's quite thin. So we can increase the, the thickness of the line by first of all selecting it, click on it with the selection tool, then in your properties panel you can increase the thickness, the stroke width by going up to your properties. I'm going to put it up to maybe five points. Okay then we get this nice thick black line around the outline of our shape. Okay, let's go back to our original image. And now we've got to identify the other elements that we're working with. We've got the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the tongue, the teeth, stomach, extra lines, and the ears. Okay, so let's add layers for each of those elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. We'll close appearance just so we can see what we're doing here in the layers panel. And I'm going to rename each of these. So I'll start with eyes. Then we'll go with ears, nose, mouth, tongue teeth, 
and extra lines. Okay, <clears throat> oh, we, and stomach as well. So we need tummy. Just put that in there. And let's, every time you complete a layer, so I've now completed the outline layer, I'm going to lock that one and go on to the eyes layer. <clears throat> How do we draw the eyes? Go to your toolbar, click on the rectangle tool, hold down the mouse button until you can select ellipse from the drop down menu. Uh, we're going to try to create a white circle with a black outline. So just make sure you've got a white color in your fill and a black color in your stroke. And then hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle. And then you can increase the stroke to maybe five as well. Okay. And then you can just copy and paste that. So select it. Command C, Command B. And then you can resize it as necessary. Like that. Okay. The other thing in the eyes is that you've got a second circle. So you can copy and paste that, resize, make it a bit smaller, and switch around the colors like that. So you've got your black as your fill color. Copy and paste and put it up there. Whatever way you want, like that. Then I'm going to make them a little bit cross eyed. Um, now I've got my eyes. I can actually put them onto my nose layer as well because they're roughly the same size. So I've selected my nose layer in the layers panel and I'm going to just put those in the right place there. Like that. Okay. Perfect. Lock that one. Ears next. Switch to my pen tool. Zoom in on what I'm looking at and just start. Oh, just before I do that, make sure the fill color is off. And the stroke color is black and then just create a very simple ear outline like that when you're finished go back to the selection tool to finish your selection and then click and drag your pen tool like that perfect and just click on the selection tool when you're finished if you're not creating a looped shape like that okay lock that layer onto the mouth pen tool again this time we're going to create a curved line <coughs> like that and back to the selection tool let's select it and increase the stroke width like that perfect okay lock it go to the tone pen tool again this time we need to create a full loop shape and then color in afterwards Okay, but we'll just go with the loop shape for now and then just a line going down like that. Okay, perfect. Lock it onto the teeth. Pen tool again. Zoom in very close so you can see what you're doing. Pen tool. And you're going to come around the shape of the teeth like that. And I'm going to copy and paste this so I don't have to draw it again. And just click on E to resize your image. Rotate if you need to. Lock that layer. Go to your extra lines layer, which is just down here at the bottom. We've got a couple of things like that line on his legs. We've also got <clears throat> a line here and a line here. And we also have a couple of lines at the bottom, which are his feet. And you can just switch between the pen tool and the selection tool by pressing P and V. So if you're just drawing one line, you can do that very quickly. P, and then when you're ready, press V, and it deselects. Okay, lock that layer. And finally, go onto the tummy layer and just click on a circle shape like that. And we're going to roughly create the shape of it like that. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit and see what we've got. We'll turn off the guide layer. It's looking pretty good so far. We just need to color it in. So as you can remember from the previous tutorial, to color the shapes in, we first need to select them and add them to our swatch. So let's select the eye picker tool, <clears throat> click on the color we want, and then click and drag it into our swatch. Second color is this red, click and drag, drop it in the swatch. And then we've got this sort of darker shade of green, click and drag that in as well. Okay, that's all we need. Switch off the guide layer, click on well, let's unlock everything for the moment and we'll click on to select the outline layer and then choose, whoops, undo that. Just make sure you've got your fill color selected and then choose the color you need. Okay, let's go with our tummy shape now. Same thing again, different shade of green. Okay, the tongue is that shade of red. <clears throat> and there we go. Oh yeah, and we just need to color in the teeth white. And there we go. We end up with something close to what we started with. Obviously, the original image has some extra shading that we could also uh, add in as well around the eyes and the nose and so on. But for now, all we were trying to do was just create a very quick outline trace using the pen tools and the color tools in Adobe Illustrator CS 5.1.